Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a process video for you guys that was a little hard for me to create. Um, it is a photo of my grandparents um, when they were really young. <laughs> I'm not, not actually positive exactly how old they were, but they were in their 20s. Um, and this is my grandmother that just passed away um, last month. And my grandfather passed away two years ago. So this is um, a hard video to do, but I wanted to do it because I really love the way that this turned out. It's super simple. Um, I felt like this paper from Coco Daisy was just meant for this photo. Um, the colors in it just match perfectly. And it says, it has like little, um, almost like watercolor hearts all over the page, but they're like ink blots. I don't know. It's hard to explain. And then it has some navy blue um, splatters on it. And the words are in navy blue. And it just says, fall in love, fall in love, fall in love. And they were married, I think, 50. No, 60, 60 years, I want to say 50, some 58 years, maybe or 60. I can't remember the exact years, but they were married for a very long time. They got married when my grandmother was 16 and my grandfather was 17 and they had six kids and 18 grandchildren and like 25 great grandchildren. Um, so I just wanted to do a layout that I can display in my house and probably a shadow box. So it's going to be a super simple layout, but I do struggle with it quite a bit um, just because I didn't want it to be overdone, but I didn't want it to be, I don't know, the photo is just so amazing and I just wanted to do the best that I could with it. Um, so I took that paper from Coco Daisy and... I did trim it down and I photo matted it on a tone on tone pink polka dot, like really, really tiny polka dots. And that paper is actually from the um, Pebbles Girl Squad collection. And then I'm pulling this paper pad out, which is a, which is a six by six paper pad and it's the blush paper pad. Um, and it's from My Mind's Eye. And I also used another piece of paper from another paper pad, a six by six paper pad. Um, and I believe that that was the Millie and June, um, six by six paper pad. And that was a really light aqua. Um, I felt like it matched with my granddad's suit that he had on and it brought that out a little bit. And then it has like really, really tiny white hearts on it. Um, and now I matted it on a piece of that paper from the blush paper pad. And it's just a really, really rich navy blue. I feel like those colors are perfect with this photo. Um, I'm also using that big doily, which just, I think, brings a little bit of elegance to it. Even though it's white and you can't really, like, it's not, um, I don't know. The paper's white in the background, so... It's not like hit you in the face, but it's just elegant to me. And then I'm going to use this sticker from the Dear Lizzie Stargazer collection. And I'm going to put it on pop dots and it says find true love. And I feel like that was just perfect. And it's that blush pink color as well. And so I knew that it was meant to be on this layout. And now I am going to use some little um, tiny word stickers and they are from I think the ones that I'm going to use are Maggie Holmes and I'm also going to look through the ephemera pack from the Stargazer collection and pull out a couple pieces and I actually don't end up using any of them um I'm not going to finish this layout on camera because I struggled with it um so the close-ups at the end will show you how it ended up um, but you will see me try a couple different things and I just don't, I don't use any of them. Um, and then you see me mess with sequins for a while. Um, and I really struggled with this. So even YouTubers, I try to, I try to make this like very clear in most of my videos that even YouTubers or people that are on design teams or people that have been doing it for years still struggle with certain layouts or certain photos to scrap um, because I just wanted it to be good enough. But 
I didn't know what was good enough, if that makes any sense. This photo is very special to me, and um, it was really, really, really difficult to do. So anyways, the um, little words that I'm going to use is, my happy place is right here, right now with you. Um, happy is together. Sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And that's what that's going to say right here. That was a really, really long sticker. And I just cut it into three pieces so I could layer them. Um, and in the end, I'm just going to end up scattering some sequins, some of the rose gold sequins that I have from, I think, Pretty Pink Posh. And I'm going to put the Find True Love right there. And then that's going to be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit of a, a struggle for me and hopefully you guys still enjoyed this. Um, this paper just really did it all for me. I really didn't feel like I wanted to over embellish it. Um, so I hope you guys liked it. I'm not going to end up using these navy blue sequins. Um, I just felt like it took away from the page and yeah, so that's it. I hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas. This is going to be my last video until after Christmas. Um, I'm going to spend some time with family and friends and just enjoy the season. So I hope that you have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, no matter what holiday you celebrate. And I just hope that you guys are able to spend some time with your family and friends over the next couple of days and weeks. Um, I will be back on the 27th with a video for a YouTube hop that I'm joining with um, several other ladies. So definitely watch out for that. And coming up in January, I will be doing my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.